Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to finish chapter 5, Hydrocarbon, by learning lesson 66, Polymerization of Alkene. Actually, we have already learned this, so this is basically a revision for us. We should be able to state the type of polymerization for alkenes, i.e. addition polymerization. We need to determine the monomer, the repeating unit, and we need to be able to write equation for the formation of certain polymers of alkenes, for example, polyethene, polypropene, PVC, and polystyrene. What is polymerization? It's a process to form polymer, such as polyethene, or sometimes we call it polyethylene and polyethylene. Polypropene, the old name is polypropylene, PVC and polystyrene. These four examples are critical for us to know. What are the monomers? Okay, we have monomer, one monomer. Basically, monomer is the small basic unit that build up polymer and it consists of double bond for addition polymerization consisting reactant alkene. So the polymer of alkenes can be in homopolymer and also copolymer. So copolymer means there is more than one type of monomer whereas HOMO is only having one type of monomer. Polymerization for alkenes, as we have said earlier, is addition polymerization. Pempolymeran, penambahan. The polymerization of alkene involves free radicals and the type of mechanism is actually uh, being uh, learned is free radical addition. Unfortunately, this is out of syllabus, so we're not going to learn the mechanism. The revision from chapter 4, yes. Addition polymerization is monomers that are having carbon car carbon double bond. There will be no elimination. The empirical formula of the polymer is the same as the monomer and it will involve homolytic cleavage since it's going to be involving the formation of free radicals. So we need initiator for uh, playing the role of catalyst. Turn to your book, page 208. The first example is the reaction to produce polyethene. As the name of the polymer is polyethene, we would know that the reactant is basically an ethene. So we use the initiator and we're going to form CH2 CH2 inside a bracket together with a line before and after with N. N representing the number of monomer. It would be so many. And here is the monomer for polyethene, which is an ethene, and the pit repeating unit. For repeating unit, you don't have to put the bracket and also the N. You only need to write um, the um, monomer without the double bond and with um, a, a bond before and after so that we can indicate this is actually the place where it will be connected to other monomers. The second reaction is polypropene, or we can also call it polypropylene. What is the monomer? The monomer is a propene, as the same as we mentioned in the uh, name of the polymer. So, as we are using initiator as catalyst, we're going to have the polymer inside the bracket 
together with the two lines, two bonds before and after, and the uh, uh, N representing the monomer units. The monomer would be a propene and the repeating unit would be a propane, but um, the carbon of the first and second would have a separate bond consisting of where is going to continue the link with other monomers. As you can see here, the example of the polymer would be um, a baby bottle and uh, such uh, containers. Right, the third uh, reaction, for example, here is polyvinyl chloride or polychloroethene. Basically, you have done this in chapter 4. You have already written all of this in chapter 4. This is a revision for you where you can see here the monomer is a chloroethene. And we're going to remove the double bond and add two covalent bonding before and after with a bracket and N to make up the polymer. And this is the monomer chloroethene together with its repeating unit. The example of a PVC product would be the uh, piping system, the, um, the bottles, containers, and the raincoat. The fourth reaction to produce, to be um, um, looked at, is um, polystyrene. Now, polystyrene is our food container, as you are familiar with it. The monomer is having a benzene ring attached to an ethene. So you're going to get the same um, pattern whereby the polymer is uh, consists of monomer inside with two bonds going outside before and after inside a bracket with the alphabet N at the bottom right. This is the um, monomer which is called phenyl etin, and the repeating unit on the right here. As you can see, we have this, um, our coffee cup colorimeter is made out of polystyrene, um, and this is our food container. This is familiar to us. What are the uses of polymers for alkenes? As you can see in the pictures, Polyethene is used as plastic carrier bags and uh, washing up bowl, bowls, plastic pipes. Polypropene, plastic film, medical tubing, medical bags and pouch. Polychloroethene, guttering, the one in houses, uh, out of the house where you have the watering system from rain going down. That's called a gutter. Plastic windows, electrical cable insulation, sheet materials for flooring. Uh, we use plastic for floors nowadays. Footwear, clothing. Our clothes sometimes are made out of plastic, especially raincoats. Polystyrene. Uh, we have a lot of usage of polystyrene, which we um, as people who promote green chemistry would really much want to avoid using polystyrene. But economically, it's the cheapest one available at the moment. So we have to fight it with money as well. So polystyrene is used to make protective packaging containers bottles, trays, tumblers, and disposable cutlery. Other usage, other polymers are of Teflon, polytetrafluoroethene, which is a coating on cooking materials, the pots and pans that we have sold um, outside. Uh, they are made out of uh, Teflon. Polyacrylonitrile, uh, poly 
components of ABS plastics, automotive body parts, tennis rackets, golf clubs, and fishing rods. These are um, uh, sturdy material. It's quite uh, hard and the strength is also um, high. Polymethyl metacrylate perspex. This is a plastic glass for glasses. My glasses, is it plastic? Yeah, yeah, it's plastic. I think I remember that much. Poly 2 chloro 1 3 butandien. This is a component of synthetic rubber, neoprene. Polyisopropene is a natural rubber, so it comes from alkene. And uh, number six, the last one, styrene butadiene rubber, SBR. Okay, so um, these are the examples of polymers made out of alkenes. SPI resin identification coding system is a set of symbol placed on plastics to identify the polymer type. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I remember in my baby's milk bottle, it's a, a number seven. So number seven is the highest number where um, it is, it's possible for us to boil it in hot water, boiling water, without um, uh, destroying its uh, structure of plastic. So if we have number one uh, at the bottom of our water bottle, we can just only use it once. But if we don't have any number, there's no number here. Uh, it's just one use bottle. After you drink it, you just you have to throw it away. You cannot reuse it because um, the damage will be done by the heat from the sun, whereby the material will go inside the water and you might consume it. And it will be dangerous for you. It's carcinogenic and cancer might come out of it. So be careful when you're using, you are using plastic. Sometimes I use glass. Um, I always use glass material. And also, sometimes I use bamboo material. Uh, bamboo material is quite expensive, but it's good for the environment. Uh, don't use plastic. It's not good. Okay. So, as you can see here, you can... Uh, water bottle is number one. Polyethylene terephthalate. Okay. Two is HDPE, high-density polyethylene for grocery bags yogurt tubes, detergent bottles, it's sturdy. Vinyl is clear food packaging, three. Four is low density polyethylene, bread bags, frozen food bags. And then five is polypropylene ketchup bottle, yogurt bottle also. And number six is polystyrene, meat trays, egg cartons, cup and plates. And number seven is um, uh, juice bottles and water bottles. So these are the plastic resin coats that are used in our plastic. That's all for uh, polymerization. I thank you for listening to me. Enjoy your journey of organic. Now we're going to switch into gear 5. And you're going to do naming, you're going to do reactions of alkane, reactions of alkanes, just like this, so that it is, um, it is convenient for us when uh, we are going further into chapters 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, with that, I leave you for your... Um, Task doing uh, revision. We have tutorial questions. We have practice 5.7 in page 212. And then the tutorial questions for Alkins will start at page 219. Thank you very much for listening and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.